What's up guys? Welcome to Patterson Autos. My name is Dennis. I'm from the Tustin Hyundai store in the Tustin Auto Center. Today I'd like to show you the Hyundai Ionic 5 smart features. We'll go both interior and exterior. We'll dive right in. All right guys, let's start with the front of the car. Starting with the sensors in the front, you notice even on the sides, um, if these sensors pick up an object in front of you, the front camera will come on automatically to show you what's in front. So you're not allowed to hit anything because you have cameras all around you in this car. Down here, these are vents. They open and close by themselves. Computer operated. Unfortunately, I can't push a button to get them to open, but it just allows airflow um, into all the powertrain down there. And the front camera we mentioned before works as part of the 360 camera. Um, it also works as your GPS navigation alerts. There's also a camera in the windshield up here that's using your smart sense features as well. Works in conjunction with the smart front collision avoidance assist plus the lane keep assist. Follow me this way around the car. So you have the power folding mirrors. They are sensed by the key fob. There's a little square on the door handle. If I put my thumb on that, you can see the mirrors unfold. The door handle just sits out to, for you to grab. There is a camera behind the folding mirror as well. And this works as part of the 360 camera, also your blind spot camera. So when you turn your blinkers on, you actually get a camera view of your blind spot. Kind of don't have to look over your shoulder anymore. If we follow the car down this way, you'll notice those sensors in the back as well, similar to the ones in the front all around the car. What I like to is it's not just in the back, it's on the side as well. Back here, we're all used to the backup camera, which is actually down here on this car. But look up here, there's another camera. What could that be? I'll show you that later. Also, you guys, on the limited trim, you notice the glass roof. The glass does not open, just the cover from the inside out. I'll show you that inside. Also, before we move inside, I'd like to show you where you charge it. Um, it's on the passenger rear. You just push on the charging door and it opens up for you, or there's a button for it on your key fob. Level one or level two charging up here, and you pull this tab out for the level three commercial fast charging. This car has the fastest recharge time on the market. Simply amazing. There's a button to close that as well. Also, cosmetically from the outside, if you notice the trim around the car, it's all chromed out. That's how I know I'm working with a limited trim. The SEL model is all black. Nice cosmetic touch. Let's go inside. All right, guys, before we hop in the front, there's not too much tech in the back other than just spacious interior. Um, this one is worth mentioning. So down here, there's an AC plug, 120 volts, where this little cover opens up and look at that. You can plug in your laptop back here. Pretty amazing. Slide it to close it. All right, now let's move on to the front seats and I'll show you a little more inside. All right, guys, welcome to the front seat. You have your center console, which is wide open. Uh, this piece can slide or move up as well, extra space. All the ladies like this for their purses, it seems like. You got a wireless charging pad here, a couple USB-C charging ports. This thing can even slide forward and backwards to create even more space up here. Over here, you also have your Bose sound system listen to your favorite tunes while you're relaxing. Very nice. You have regenerative braking paddles behind the steering wheel. There's a minus on the right side plus on the left so you can decrease or increase. Hyundai allows you to choose and find your favorite setting. Obviously the more you can handle the better for the battery. It regenerates more power into the electric batteries. On the steering wheel, let's start with the right side. You have your smart adaptive cruise control. So you just push the button, adjust your speed, Radar button will adjust the distance of how close or how far you want the car in front of you to be and the car takes over. I can adjust what I see in my screen. I can track mileage, I can see the compass. Most people leave it here. This is an augmented reality of your car. So if there's someone in your blind spot, you'll have little radar symbols that pop up here. Down below is a little emblem of a steering wheel. When I push that, the steering wheel pops up in my instrument cluster. When this highlights green, I can literally take my hands off the wheel. They call it lane follow assist. The camera in the windshield is reading the painted lines on the road. So if there's a curb next to you, it won't work. I would not trust that. On the left side, you have your mode button. That's programmable. You can program this to be your media button. So it toggles through all your media options like satellite, Apple CarPlay, FM, that sort of thing. You can toggle to between your presets. There's a little star button here as well. That's programmable as well. 
I, most people program that one to end a phone call. Right next to it, you can pick up a phone. And then you have voice control. I can push the voice control. Take me to the nearest Starbucks. And your car will take you wherever you want to go. So click on Starbucks, click yes, follow the instructions here, and the car's GPS will take you there. Pretty cool. So if you're ever traveling and your cell phone doesn't have service, just use your car's GPS. All right, and then lastly, down below is your drive mode. Every time I push the drive mode button, it will change the powertrain from sport, eco, normal. You'll see how the range kind of changes as I toggle through the mode. So eco will give you the most range. Sport opens it up, gives you more power, more horsepower, but decreases your range. Pick your favorite setting. Moving up here, if you notice, you got the rear view mirror. There's a switch here. If I flip this switch, see what happens it turns into a camera better visibility to see what's going on behind you up here we have the moon roof the glass does not open but if i pull this switch back you'll see this open from the middle out allow sunlight to come inside the glass won't open though just nice at night see the stars shine through and then push it again to close it okay guys for this next one let me close my driver door so i can show you my blind spot cameras so if I turn my left blinker on, you'll see a camera view of my blind spot. So remember the camera I showed you on the mirror? That's what this does. And it works on both sides, right and left. There you go. It eliminates the need to look over your shoulder in tight traffic situations. It really, really helps out. Moving on to the infotainment screen, you can see the built-in GPS is already there. It's high resolution, easy to see. It's all touch screen. You can click the search icon, look up addresses or whatnot. This infotainment screen, think of it as like apps on your phone. Very easy to use, very intuitive. Click on whatever you want and it takes you there. For temperature controls, you just follow the arrows. Like the red arrow increases my temperatures. The blue arrow decreases. You can click automatic air. Here's the mode and it kind of shows you how the modes change. Here, fan speed, you can increase, decrease, front defrost, rear defrost, self-explanatory. Also, like if I click the warmer button here, it takes me directly to either my heated seats or my ventilated seats as well for you and your passenger. Speaking of tech, see this camera button? Watch what happens when I push that. I get a bird's eye view 360 camera here. The backup camera comes on automatically, but watch this. I can click on the car. It pops up the, our actual car and I can touch screen. I can swivel all around to see what's around me. Really helps when you're parking the car. If I put my foot on the brake and put the powertrain into drive, the front camera comes on. So that's amazing, right? Really helps when you park the car and then push P to put it back in park. Amazing. Parking sensors, the light is on. That means your parking sensors are active. I can turn that off. Thank you guys for tuning in for this video. Hopefully this gives you a little more insight into Hyundai's smart tech features. Next step is to actually drive this car, put these features to the test, which will be in a separate video. But before we do that, I'd like to give a special shout out to Patterson Auto, specifically Tustin Hyundai for allowing us to use the Psionic 5. You can also follow me on Instagram, my car guy, Denny, and where I like to post recent sales, some insights into industry news or whatnot. Thanks for watching you guys. With that, we'll dive right into the next video where we actually put these features to the test on the road.